dealt with a lot of body shaming this year and uh -huh. I've never experienced that before. Girl. I'm proud of that. And it's not even about my weight. It's just that I'm not gonna give a fuck what people say. Sorry. Oh, man, that, that hurt. That was really, that was really hurtful. Selena Gomez's new look is making her get so much hate online. From drastic weight changes to rumors of botched plastic surgery, Selena once again is receiving a lot of backlash for her new look. But some of her fans are saying there's more life-threatening reasons behind her ever-changing looks. Selena Gomez is body shamed daily and it's time to stop. So as we all know, celebrities love plastic surgery. They are always chasing that perfect look every time. Whether it's for the perfectly shaped cheeks or a nose, loves, they even have plastic surgery for abs. Plastic surgery is everywhere in Hollywood. So much so that everyone just assumes all celebs get plastic surgery these days. Now, the latest celeb to face these rumors is Selena Gomez. This comes after a pic of her popped up online and she was looking almost unrecognizable. The image went viral, but for all the wrong reasons. People online started coming out and commenting on all sorts of things. There is something strange about her face, but I don't know what it is. Did she get a face change? Sheesh, couldn't recognize her. Why does her right side look like that? Is Selena botched? Loves, rumors started spreading like wildfire that Selena had plastic surgery and it didn't go well. Seemingly, everyone started commenting and giving their opinion on the matter. Some even went as far as to start body shaming Selena Gomez for her new look. This was also in Mexico. The caption was meant for me to kind of express my confidence as kind of feeling a little bit of the body shaming thing when I realized that curves are actually sexy. Now I'm happy though. This, however, isn't the first time Selena has been on the receiving end of harsh comments because of her looks. Earlier this year, while she was on vacation, pics of her also popped up online and some people were not having it. Many people were pointing out how different her body looked. Some were even suggesting that she should hit the gym more often, which I mean, is just a cruel thing to tell another human being who is just busy enjoying herself in peace. This situation got so serious that it started a beef between Selena and Hailey Bieber. This was because Hailey posted a TikTok throwing shade at Selena in the TikTok, Haley, Justine Skye, and Kendall Jenner are lip syncing to the sound, and I'm not saying she deserved it, but God's timing is always right. This caused people online to start speculating that she was referring to Selena being body shamed over her trending vacation photos. This didn't go down well with Selena's fans, many of whom started calling out Haley Bieber for being a mean girl. Haley got so much backlash from Selena's fans that she had to come out and say, I never comment on this type of thing, but we were just having a girls night and did a random TikTok sound for fun. It is not directed at anyone. Now, everyone thought that was the end of the story, but a few days after Haley's comment, Selena left a comment on an account that had reposted Haley's TikTok that started this whole drama, and she wrote, it's okay, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone, X. After this, Kylie Jenner seemingly decided to join in on this beef after she posted a photo of herself with the words, this was an accident, over her brows. This was after Selena had said that she had over laminated her eyebrows. To make the matter even worse, Kylie decided it was a good idea to post a pic of Hailey Bieber's eyebrows. I am doubling down for those who are doubting me. I do believe Kylie Jenner posted these Instagram stories about Selena Gomez. I think I just got the reason wrong. Somebody just sent me a video and I completely forgot Selena Gomez said this in her video yesterday, but let me show you. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. Why is it that three hours after Selena Gomez posted those videos on TikTok, would Kylie Jenner post this was an accident? And ironically, she put the text on her freaking eyebrows and again posted a screenshot of her and Hailey Bieber and them just showing their eyebrows. 1000% I am not reaching. They are shading Selena Gomez and this is very, very, very childish. And what I want to understand is why. This sent the beef to a whole nother level. And yet Selena's fans came to defend Selena who is still getting body shamed online for her vacation pics, which started all of this. Kylie acted quickly and left a comment that said she was throwing shade at Selena. Selena herself even came out in support of Kylie's comment, which said, this is reaching. No shade towards Selena ever, and I didn't see her eyebrow post. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. Agreed. At Kylie Jenner, it's all unnecessary. I'm a fan of Kylie. However, later that same day, people online realized that Selena had commented on an old video of Haley seemingly gagging at the mention of Taylor Swift's name. And in response, Selena wrote, so sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. This was a sign to the whole internet 
internet basically saying that even though her and Kylie were cool, she wasn't yet done with Haley. After Selena went on TikTok Live and said that she loved the way she looked, despite people saying that she was big and leaving mean comments about her body's appearance, she didn't care. Selena said that she was happy for her friends and she loved herself just the way she was. Before ending her live, Selena announced that she was going to take a break from social media for a while. I'm very happy. I'm so blessed. I have the best friends, the best fans in the whole world, and I just couldn't be happier. Um, I'm good. I love who I am. I don't care. I'm big. I'm not. I, would, I don't. I don't care. I love who I am. And yeah, I'm gonna be taking a second from social media because it's this is a little silly. And I'm 30. I'm too old for this. So, but I love you guys so much. <laughs> and I will see you guys um, sooner than later. I just I'm gonna just take a break from everything. Loves. Who could blame her? Selena had been going through a seriously rough time after her vacation pics hit the internet. From random people online body shaming her to her ex's wife also joining in to throw some more shade at her for how she looked, Selena needed to unplug. But before she logged off social media, fans noticed that she commented on a bunch of TikToks that were calling Hailey Bieber out for being a bully. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't had much of an opinion of Selena Gomez in general, like pretty neutral. However, now with these mean girls coming at her throat disgusting despicable behavior from the nepo babies like it makes me want to vomit i am now the biggest selenator selenator to ever exist selena gomez we read it dawn i'm now your number one fan i'm gonna stream all your shit i'm following you on all your accounts girl i love you i'm so sorry i'm so sorry this is like traumatizing these God, I hate mean girls. I hate them. In the video that was soon deleted, a Selena fan was saying that Haley was a mean girl and Selena commented and told the fan that she loved her. This feud was getting so out of control that at one point, even Justin Bieber's mom got involved. Now, just when people had begun thinking the beef was over, Haley uploaded an Insta story and used the song Calm Down. But she used the Calm Down version that didn't have Selena and this had people pissed. Haley was the target of Selena's fans' rage, yet again. After that, both Haley and Kylie started losing followers and Selena started gaining followers even though she wasn't even active on IG. Selena gained so many followers that she had become the most followed woman in Instagram history. However, during all this reports started coming out that Selena wasn't happy about how things were spiraling in this whole drama. So this person says, this is a very reliable source. Selena is majorly annoyed that this all spiraled like this because she feels like people are chalking up deleting her TikTok account to her overall mental health issues, and that's not it. Her mental health is honestly in really good shape. She is just pissed off and fed up. She does not like Haley for truly at least four solid, unarguable, legit reasons, but those close to her really want people to understand that it's not like past deletions where she was struggling or in a bad place. She really loves her life these days and feels more confident than ever. She's just done playing in the sandbox with the mean girls. This caused Selena to come back to social media and ask her fans to be kinder and not spread hate like what she was receiving. Selena commented to her fans, thank you and love you all so much. I am deeply grateful for each and every one of you humans. You make me unbelievably happy. Please, please be kinder and consider others' mental health. My heart has been heavy and I only want good for everyone. All my love. Loves, the things between Haley and Selena was so extreme that people were even chanting and cussing out Haley at Justin Bieber's Rolling Loud concert. This seemed to deeply hurt Selena because she was on the receiving end of hateful comments, so she knew how Haley must have felt. So Selena made a statement telling her fans that Haley herself reached out to her and revealed that she's been receiving threats. Selena's statement read, Haley Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving threats and such hateful negativity. This is not what I stand for. No one should have to experience hate or bullying. I've always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. A few hours after that, Haley also posted her response to Selena's statement saying, I want to thank Selena for speaking out. As her and I have been discussing the last few weeks how to move past this ongoing narrative between her and I. The last few weeks have been very hard for everyone involved and millions of people are seeing so much hate around this, which is extremely harmful. While social media is an incredible way to connect and build community, moments like this only create extreme division instead of bringing people together. Things can always be taken out of context or construed differently than they were intended. We all need to be more thoughtful about what we 
post and what we say, including myself. In the end, I believe love will always be bigger than hate and negativity, and there's always an opportunity to meet each other with more empathy and compassion. It's a well-known fact that Selena Gomez has struggled with health issues, so I cannot even believe that people sit and still body shame her. And even if she did not struggle with health issues, no one should be body shaming anyone. If you really love Selena, you don't love her for her body, you love her for who she is. After all this drama, shocking details about Selena's constantly changing body appearance came to light after she did an interview with Fast Company. Selena reflected on her constant battle with lupus disease, which causes her immune system to attack its own tissues. This disease has caused her to suffer all kinds of issues, from anxiety to depression. It has even led to her seemingly drastic changes in body weight, meaning she can look completely different in a couple weeks. It got so bad that she required a kidney transplant back in 2017. In an episode of Dear earlier this year, Selena opened up about the constant body shaming comments she receives because of her weight changes due to her lupus medication. So I was posting these things saying, it doesn't bother me because I didn't want it to bother other people who are experiencing the same thing. Getting shamed for what they look like, who they are, who they love. I just think it's so unfair. I don't think that anybody deserves to feel less than. Selena said, my weight would constantly fluctuate because I would be on certain medications. And obviously people just ran with it, she revealed. It was like they couldn't wait to find a new thing to bring me down. I was being shamed for gaining weight because of my lupus. I have lupus and yeah. deal with kidney issues and uh, high blood pressure. So I deal with a lot of health um, issues. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's when I really started noticing more of the body image stuff because the with, lupus affects your weight well no it, it, it's the medic it's a combination the of all of it it's the medication that i have to take for the rest of my life it's um it, it depends on even the month to be honest selena also talked about how she would appear brave online telling her fans that she is unfazed by all the criticism and hate she was receiving because of her body but in reality when she was alone she would cry selena revealed this saying i lied i would go online and i would post a picture of myself and I would say, it doesn't matter. I'm not accepting what you're saying. All the while being in the room posting and crying my eyes out because nobody deserves to hear those things. Selena continued by saying, though I was posting these things saying it didn't bother me because I didn't want it to bother other people who are experiencing the same thing, getting shamed for what they look like, who they are, who they love. I just think it's so unfair. I don't think that anybody deserves to feel less than. It really bums me out. She has to make these kinds of videos, especially because we all know, we've known for years, she's dealing with health issues and she just seems so defeated in this video so people stop being mean stop body shaming like it's not nice not gonna lie knowing this was what selena had to go through breaks my heart love selena even opened up about the fact that she was now 31 and she no longer had a teenager's body selena recalled constant pressure she faced battling lupus and paparazzi following her everywhere even after her kidney surgery paparazzi managed to get a pic of her with her surgery scar showing and people were bashing her and she posted on her instagram saying the beauty myth, an obsession with physical perfection that traps modern women in an endless cycle of hopelessness, self-consciousness, and self-hatred as she tries to fulfill society's impossible definition of flawless beauty. I chose to take care of myself because I want to, not to prove anything to anyone. Wind in her sails. A lot of water weight and that happens very normally. And then when I'm off of it, I tend to, to kind of lose weight Really, guys, I encourage anyone out there who feels any sort of shame for exactly what they're going through and nobody knows the real stories. Not a model, never will be. And, and I think they're awesome, mind you. I just, I definitely am definitely not that. Loves shutting down haters and body shamers seems to be Selena's specialty nowadays. Every time a pic of her hits the internet, body shamers seem to follow quickly, but Selena has learned to handle them with grace. One thing that Selena's really doing in this moment is normalizing her experience for a lot of other people. I've been seeing a lot of other women who have had lupus struggles talk about this openly on social media. They're coming forward and sharing their experiences because of what Selena Gomez is talking about. Selena 
is constantly telling her young fans that they are beautiful and wonderful. Selena has always strived to be a person her young fans can look up to and be proud of, so yes, she is famous, but she isn't perfect. She has regular issues with the way that she looks, and yes, sometimes she gets anxious when trolls online throw hate her way. But she is always projecting love and kindness to the world and hopes that her fans can also do the same. Y'all, what do you think about this whole Selena situation? Is it really fair the way that she's getting treated online? Let me know your comments down below, and until next time, bye loves!